right now at 545, another week, another scorcher. Triple digit temperatures are expected across the southwest as heat shows no sign of easing. Last week, global average temperatures set records or tied existing ones at least three days in a row. The global trends show the warming signs of where we are headed, and a new tool is being unveiled to track how climate change is impacting our temperatures. Well, Queen City News meteorologist and climate specialist herself, Lisa Rava, joining us now to be able to walk us through this new tool. Alisa? Yeah, you're going to starting to use a little bit more frequently, especially as we started to get into some of the really deep heat here of summer. So it's called the Climate Shift Index. It's a new tool that we have from Climate Central. If you're unfamiliar with them, they're nonprofit, nonpartisan science group. And this tool helps us compare the new warmer climate to a past climate before we had so many greenhouse gas emissions. And what that does is it's able to help us measure climate change, that fingerprint of it, on daily temperatures. And generally what you, we find is that extreme heat is more frequent and more extreme and extreme cold is less frequent and less extreme. And we can do this both for the daytime highs and the overnight lows. So here's a big picture of what this map looks like today. We've been talking a lot about the heat in the southwest. All of these deep reds show that it is four to five times more likely because of climate change. So how can we do this and what does that mean? Okay, here's that past climate, right? We have average days in the middle, we have very cold days, and we have very warm days. Well, when the average warms, right, then warm temperatures become normal, right? So a normal day is warm, so then a hot day has got to be really hot, if that makes sense. And you can see the orange is kind of spreading, and now most of the graph is orange, and that's what a warming climate looks like. So what we're doing with this index number is we are able to take the temperature and figure out how much more frequent it is in this new warmer climate, right? So if we have a temperature of 90 degrees, you see it happens once in a while in our past climate, but as it increases, as the more normal temperatures become warm, you can see we can get those 90 degree days much more often, right? So this again, what is what it looks like. The temperatures this morning were Pretty cool. This is showing us that this morning, that 68 degrees in Charlotte was about two to three times less likely because of climate change. And here, these are highs for tomorrow, tapping in the middle 90s. It's about two times more likely, right, as our climate continues to warm. Here's Lauren Casey. She's with Climate Central and has worked very closely on this project. Having the information, you can make the best plan. You can make the best plan for yourself, for your family, for your city, for your state, for our country. So having that information allows us to really put into place and identify the things that we need to mitigate the impacts of this climate warming. All right, so Elisa, I think you explained this so well because I understand mm -hmm. it, Morgan. I mean, you I, really I do a great job of breaking it all down. down. The only question I have for you, though, is you're talking about the changes that this new tool mm -hmm. can be able to help out. How does this new tool help you tell us about the impacts of the changes? Right. So with climate change. Right. So if we know that these temperatures are more likely because the climate is warmer, yeah. that can tell us about conditions like heat sickness, right? Oh. That information could be really valuable to people that don't have air conditioning or if we had had this tool in February, you know what it would have showed us? That those 70, 80 degree temperatures in February yeah. are also more likely with a warming climate. Wow. That impacts things like allergies, I right? I was going to so, say, down right. to the allergies and the extension of allergy season, right? Yeah, so there's so many impacts. I've even seen some meteorologists use this tool to talk about the extreme wildfires, right? We had all mm. that wildfire mm -hmm. smoke. That was sparked in part by extreme unprecedented heat in parts of Canada. So that climate shift index was really bright red saying, whoa, this heat isn't typically here this time of mm -hmm. year. And there were fire, wildfires up in the same right. area. Every right. little bit of data yeah. helps, right? Yes, absolutely.